Salam Jo, watching what should be an action-packed, explosive episode of 420 Grams coming to you live from the News Click Studios in New Delhi. I'm Siddhan Dhani and on the show with me today are two uh, young sir. men, Jaydeep Basu and Arjun Pandit, who we've all been very closely following developments at the All India Football Federation since uh, the Supreme Court decided to appoint a committee of administrators to manage day-to-day -day affairs, get the house in order, set up a new constitution and ensure that free and fair elections take place as soon as possible. Remember the mandate of uh, the Praful Patel-led body that was running the All India Football Federation expired back in 2020. Uh, the body was continuing on an ad hoc basis because of the pandemic and because of other reasons. Uh, essentially, the reasons being unwillingness to conduct new elections and of course some doubts about the constitution. Jadi Basu has been writing extensively on the subject and we've been talking about it on 420 grams uh, for the past couple of years, if not more, including the problems with the existing constitution, the master rights agreements and all kinds of other issues uh, related to the governance and management of Indian football. As things stand right now, a FIFA AFC joint delegation was in India, seven member committee if I'm not wrong, uh, delegation sorry. Uh, they've had a series of uh, discussions with all the stakeholders in Indian football, including those who are currently governing or currently looking after the sport. Uh, the state associations, the committee of administra uh, administrators, as well as a group of advisors that was initially appointed to help the committee run day-to-day -day affairs in various departments, whether it's media and communications, player issues, competitions, other such things. Uh, what we have today is a conclusion of that delegation's visit to the country, a clear statement from them that deadlines have been set and India must follow those deadlines if they are to avoid a FIFA ban and to continue in FIFA competitions. Uh, coming to you first, Jayita, news-wise, what are the main points that we need to update our viewers on today? I think our view, viewers know more than us <laughs> all day already, yeah. so we don't need to, uh, I won't dare to update them on anything. By, sir, by the but way, sir, Twitter pe ek, ek account pe Diwali ban rahi hai, and that is Jaydi Basu. Phat <laughs> <laughs> <Phat> raha <hai. laughs> <laughs> So, uh, basically, ki ye hai ki, um, uh, we must, uh, the AFF must uh, uh, hold its election by, <coughs> see, by uh, September 15. I think September 15 they have given an advanced deadline. Even if it goes to September 30, they won't they won't uh, 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 mind. Hmm. But the but what they have said, which is most important, but that by July 31st the constitution must be ready in place. Hmm. In place meaning accepted by everyone. No, FIFA's thing is that it is not. If it is, it is it is being uh, cleared by uh, Supreme Court, they are not bothered about it. Hmm. We are bothered about it because it is it has, we our apex court is our apex court. Mm. But FIFA is not bothered. Bothered. Mm. FIFA is bothered about this constitution has to be has to be cleared by the general body of the uh, AFF. AFF. So all 34, 36, whatever as a number of association, associations, they have to come together and and approve this uh, constitution. Mm. That has to be there. Mm. And before that, they have told them that once you finalize the constitution, please. So send, us us a give, copy. send us a copy, mm. we'll have a look at it. Yeah. Not that they're trying to find fault with it, mm. but they will see whether it is in place with the FIFA statute and everything. So the, the, now, the, now the immediate task and perhaps the toughest task would be to finalize the, finalize the constitution by 31st of July. So in that uh, sort of process of finalizing the constitution, what are, according to you, we've all been over the draft constitution now, uh, and identified different areas where these kind of issues might come up. In conversations that you're having with the relevant parties, stakeholders, state associations, etc., what are the kind of issues that are coming up in terms of what might be sticking points, basically? See, if you if you if you go by what what the seven member committee and the state association seven member committee of the state associations in which Delhi, IFA, <coughs> I think, uh, Telangana, <coughs> Punjab, um, uh, Karnataka, and uh, Arunachal, and couple of other seven members are there. I don't remember everybody's name. Seven members are there. So, if you look and what they have discussed with the COA before FIFA team coming or what they have discussed with FIFA on the draft constitution. I, they have, at least there are 44 objections on it. 44? Four objections on it. But it, 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 it sounds very large, but mm. it, it is not that. Mm. Out of that 44, 
and you can you can always uh, uh, say that 35 36 will be settled easily uh, easily resolved. settled because they are small small uh, uh, yeah. but you know uh, but there are seven eight issues which which can be of some problem hmm. which they are still talking the thing is that see if you look at it uh, the way uh, the what supreme court said in its in its in its order even in 2017 when supreme court ordered the uh, two member committee of mr mr uh, Dr. Qureshi and uh, Mr. Ganguly, Bhaskar Ganguly, that <coughs> form a constitution, the fine, I mean, draft a constitution. They said that all the all the all the points which are missing from the from the what do you call it sports court, national sports court, that should be included. But uh, so the members associations have said ki we are we are okay with all sports court. We we are, we are accepting all sports court in detail. Just put it. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. An entire FIFA statute in detail. Mm -hmm. Whatever FIFA statute is, we will we will go by them. Mm -hmm. These two, there is no problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, the two member committee of uh, Qureshi and Mr. Ganguly, both of uh, if have drafted a constitution. There are they have put several other points, which could be of some problem. Um, like 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 sports court says, sports court says. Uh, one by one, I can say. Sports court says ki one point. I am saying that mm. that's that's trying that's go, get, go, getting getting quite hot. That one subject, mm. one one point. That that a principal office bearer, according to sports court, a principal office bearer. That is uh, office bearers are three. Mm. Principal office bearers are three: president, secretary, and the treasurer. Mm. In all India Football Federation's case, principal office bearers are two. Two, because. Pre treasurer, tre and treasurer and president. Mm. Secretary is appointed. Mm. Mm. Sec secretary is a salaried person. He is an employer of the uh, employee of the federation. So, these two, these two principal office bearers, they cannot continue beyond twelve years at a stretch and seventy years of age, mm. whichever whichever uh, comes first. Yeah. It's an age and tenure uh, uh, restriction they mm. have. But now, rest are okay. But now. It, this is the according to sports court, mm -hmm. but uh, but the two member committee in the draft constitution they have said that vice presidents and the executive members all of them should should be considered as principal office bearers right. as office bearers. Right. In that case, that agent tenure uh, 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 rule uh, will apply to them. Will apply rule will apply with them, mm. which is creating a lot of problem. Especially in the state association. State has, not only states in the in the in the in the in the in the. AFF on local. If you look at the the erstwhile committee, hmm. which was just been dismissed by the uh, Supreme Court, if you look at it, there are I can say at least seven to ten members who will not be able to uh, stand for stand. election again. But I, I kind of I kind of agree with that. No, but when I say uh, because it comes from a uh, state association also because that's where these guy these members are coming from. No, but I kind of agree with the fact that they are saying that this is going to be a sticking point. Because if you have every twelve years. आप पूरे फेडरेशन को कह रहे हो कि जो पूरा बदलेगा दे समथिंग रॉन्ग विद दैट सर क्योंकि अगर आप सिर्फ ऊपर की जो लीडर है आप उनके इलेक्शंस कर रहे हो यू आर डूइंग दैट इज फाइन बट द अदर गाइस शुड हैव अ लॉन्गर टेन्योर इफ दे डूइंग वेल एंड यू कैन बट 12 इयर्स इज अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड दीस आर ओनली इलेक्टेड ऑफिस बेयरर्स दे दे आर नॉट एम्प्लॉइज ऑफ द कंपनी मेंबर्स आर सेइंग ऑफ द एआईएफएफ नॉट पीपल हु आर रनिंग द डिपार्टमेंट्स यू नो लाइक मेंबर्स आर सेइंग दैट मीडिया स्टाफ ऑल ऑफ हां पता है मेंबर्स आर सेइंग वाइस प्रेसिडेंट्स एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी मेंबर्स they see there are at least one vice president i don't want to name him who is there for 18 years mm. as the vice president members of saying because they are he's there for 18 years because he is not a of principal office bearers see members point is when sports code is not putting it why, why are you putting put, put, uh, put, putting extra pressure on us right there is the, there is one more which is of course part of the sports code so members are now can't do anything that is the restrictive clause there is aff AFF constitution said previous constitution said anybody who wants to fight and contest an election for a post of principal office bearer in all india football federation will have to be a member of the executive committee of the national federation or a state body for at least 4 years, four years. Mm. that's a restrictive clause mm. 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 you cannot be, because you are not in a state association also yeah. so, but but uh, the draft constitution has removed it anybody can contest mm. Anybody, anybody can contest. Anybody can contest. Huh? AFF members are saying uh, that that so then the, anybody will walk in because it will it will also uh, people who have with money and power can always come in. Yeah. Mm. So uh, that is there. But the thing is that their their arguments have become weak because it's part of the sports court.
What is the reasoning for these extra clauses that they put in, sir? Have they given a reasoning? Uh, what is it? Transparency? Um, is that the, the main jad? Ki to maintain transparency, everyone is up for sale at the end of that 12 year tenure. Is that the I, I, I asked Dr. Qureshi. I had, I had, because of course I did not put it in on his court. Hmm. So, uh, he said that since, since uh, the, uh, since uh, the Supreme Court has told us to draft a constitution, they have, that means they have asked us to, to, to break our head on it and, and, and find out something new and give it, which can be, which can be, which can be bet, which can better the constitution. According to Mr. Kurish, Mr. Kurish told me clearly that if the Supreme Court's only intention was to was to put this sports code in it and leave it, then they wouldn't have called a man like me. They would have called anybody. Anybody in the office could have put those four sports code and uh, dismiss the constitution. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. they have given us to improve upon it, so we have improved upon it. It is for now for the members. So to I told Dr. Kureshi, sir, it is going to be very difficult to pass this constitution. Mm. Uh, and, uh, by, and by 31st July, which is the deadline. Mm. So Dr. Kureshi, I remember what he said. He says, uh, when the situation comes, we will face it. Something like this. Someone will have to bend. Someone will have to bend. See, on Either several will, points, yeah. see, if you look at it, uh, Justice Dave or Mr., uh, Dr. Kureshi or even Bhaskarda for that matter, uh, they are, it's not that they, they want to push something. They are open to all suggestions. But there will be at one, some point where, where they might get struck. Mm. So this is giving me a lot of, uh, whether, the, whether the election, this uh, constitution really can be finished off by 31st July. July. And also don't forget the fact that it is not only this, this case when we'll go to when it will go to Supreme Court, there are two petitioners in it. One is Rahul Mehra, who is the main petitioner. Yeah. Another is Ranjit Bajaj from for Delhi, Delhi, Delhi Football Club, who is also another petitioner. Hmm. If they object, hmm. then what will happen? Hmm. So, so, so has they been involved in the conversation so far? Uh, either of these parties, Ranjit Bajaj or, or Rahul Mehra? See, Ranjit is sitting in the meeting daily. Rahul will also come someday. I, so far, Mr., Mr., I didn't see Advocate Mehra coming anywhere. Hmm in the football house, but he might come into it. He, he has every right to, hmm. because he is the main petitioner of this case. So, Mamla thoda sticky hai. Mamla sticky hai. 31st aur July is mujhe thoda sticky lagao. Woh chal gaya hai. Woh aapka stop watch chal gaya hai ab. Ab uh. usko, suppose, mein keh raha hu, suppose aap nahi pahunche maa pe, time ke asaab se, aap, uh, kya hai phir aapke paas option? Kya aap FIFA ko kaise kate hai, janab, uh, thoda aur bhag dijiye. Ya woh kahenge, nahi ji, ye lo ban. और अगर बैन हुआ तो कितने महीने का बैन कैसे करें क्योंकि आपका अक्टूबर में अंडर 17 वेमेंस वर्ल्ड कप है हाँ वो ये तो अर्जुन यू आर राइट दे एनीबॉडी हु गेस्ट इवन आई गेट लेट आई विल राइट कि यार थोड़ा सा टाइम दे बाइस ऑफ थोड़ा सा टाइम दे तो लेट हो रहा है वो तो वेदर फीफा विल ग्रांट इट ऑन See, FIFA has to, I believe, see, I was not a party to it, so I was not present. So what I have got from the members, those who attended the meeting from various sources which I gathered, FIFA has told them, see, let us tell, tell you one thing very, uh, very clearly, the ban letter is ready. All it needs a signature. Oh. They have told. Uh, all it needs a signature. So it will, it will be. Card chup gaye. Card chup gaye. Aap ye mat sochi ki. And they said we have two, three problems in it. First, biggest problem is there are at several four, like Pakistan is banned, Kenya is banned, and they are all watching. Haan, if, we, kar rahe ho, inko haan, kar agar if we do any, any yet uh, extra treatment to give to you, then everybody will ask why are you, uh, 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 special treatment is being given to India. Hmm. So we cannot do it. But since after coming here, we found that the members are united and there is a problem, you are, you, you are willing to solve the problem. So I am giving, we are giving you the some time. Some time. And please don't think that under 17 World, women's, women's World Cup could be an excuse. That since we are hosting uh, the under 17 Women's World Cup will be played in uh, uh, India, hmm. we won't be able to ban you. No, so you're saying if, if say by 15 September, let's, they let's they, assume. They will, they will, they will. It doesn't happen. They said ki our two, at least two venues are ready. Within 30 days, aap badal doge. He says our two venues are ready. Not a problem. These din ke andar. Uh, it's a, hmm? it's a, and it's not a 34, 32 team tournament. It's a 16 team tournament. Yeah. 
तो चार या दो ये चाहिए ग्राउंड चाहिए होता दो चार कर लेंगे हम उसको लेकिन दे विल नेवर अलाउ टू होर्स दिस टूर्नामेंट अंडर सी ओए और फॉर दैट मैटर ए थर्ड पार्टी इंटरफेरेंस दैट दे विल नेवर अलाउ so basically yeah so unless it's all done and dusted by the time that tournament kicks off uh, likely to be a ban and and as far as i think wider things are concerned to rearrange an under 17 women's world cup which they've already done before compared to uh, you know losing out on their primacy of decision making and all of these other issues that you're talking about with other countries getting involved in it fifa will obviously pick uh, इंडिया ओके it's not we have seen asian women swore was held how india were helped nothing it's a few 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 aff officials who stood on this stage and were garlanded and give, so okay biggest loser will be india's under 17 players sir players. players because Bache. india is a host country they yeah. are playing if they don't play the girls are now uh, i think camping in pune they are yeah. starting starting the camp in pune so uh, that would be a yeah, huge. that would be a shocking mother well, huge blow because it is because of the pandemic one entire batch of, batch of girls has, so, has despite not. the fact that selection of these girls is in question very much in question how these girls were picked up nobody knows hmm. there are there are at least questions about it yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're going back to a system where you don't get to play yeah yeah so that would be a, that would be for those looking at those year to 25 young girls hmm. uh, 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 kids they should do it as fast as possible yeah. that's the thing What about the the, the one uh, issue that I, one, one last thing sir on the ban only. अगर लगा ban तो duration क्या होगा sir? जब तक ये नहीं कर लेगा मेरे ख्याल तो सब दौड़ के आके तीन महीने में कर ही लेंगे मेरे ख्याल से. तो अच्छा तो तीन महीने का ban लग सकता है. मतलब अब we hope that it's only a three months ban. Ban लगा तो फिर what क्या किस चीज पे ban लगा? मतलब I think national team will not be able to play anywhere for those three months. From ban and and our officials will not be able to go anywhere. Our referees will be banned from supervising. it's a it's a yet uh, like it happens in boxing and all na hmm. the judges are also banned na hmm. when i we in indian federation. boxing federation was banned hmm. even the judges and referees were banned hmm. okay yeah so 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 uh, i mean uh, yeah uh, perhaps a ban at at some point would not have been the worst thing to happen but uh, at this stage if there is the willingness to perhaps resolve these issues then maybe a ban can also be avoided perhaps see ban is see everybody we are talking to you have also talked to a lot of people you people i have also talked to a lot of people everybody is will now to thoda ki dare hue hai yaar kuch karna padega nahi to mar gaya ha ye ek thoda sa sab ka feel feeling hai ha to abhi to there is there is in everybody is good faith trying to trying to do something lekin constitution finalizing of constitution is going to be ek bari wo finalize ho gaya then this 15 september is not a problem right or is that a problem then if you then finalize within time fir to ho gaya then it's done no, so basically the the date everyone needs to be looking out for is 31st july ha dekho 7th of july or 8th of july i think they are going to give the final the the uh, submit the constitution to uh, supreme court hmm. and then the, uh, the supreme court if if supreme court takes uh, year of the situation that stock of the situation wanted to early say give a date on 21st or 22nd or whatever right they give and if all parties agree then it is okay hmm. get yeah, it but if one party doesn't agree which is normal which is normal which that is, normal. is the thing which what will normal. happen two petitioners are there if one of the petitioners are not happy <coughs> so basically a lot happy. of people need to come together on the same plate and ek hi thali mein se chawal sabne ek sath khani hai and constitution has some points with their the where uh, which is allowed then some of the people will not be able to contest and those will be affected they will not go down easily mm-hmm. they will they will try to uh, scuttle and i have a matlab i i can say very openly that i suspect a lot of people in the federation who were who were uh, instrumental in running the astwell committee will like india to get banned 
आई एम सॉरी टू से बट आई एम टू से देखो ये देखो ये देखो हो गया हाँ, हाँ, हाँ देखो दैट इज हम बचा रहे थे इससे हाँ या हम बोल रहे थे ये हम बोल कह रहे थे हाँ आई थॉट फीफा आल्सो कुड हैव बीन लिटिल मोर प्रोएक्टिव वो सवाल वही पूछ रहे हैं सब कि जब ये मंदिर पे घंटी अब मंदिर पे घंटी नहीं बजी अब बहुत कुछ हुआ है मंदिर टूटा है जो भी हुआ है जो भी यू नो भगवान जी आओ बचाओ हमें पर ये घंटी तो काफी टाइम से बज रही थी तो एक नोशन ये है कि फीफा थोड़ा लेट आया है or you could have come earlier but what is the process because if i want fifa to come into my country hmm. and say what are you doing i am banning you is there a certain thing only which happens post which they say we yes, come there of course of course that is there fifa fifa some people i think one of the one of the members also asked in uh, in a, in a, in a meeting also that he said the, he very politely said we are very really disappointed by fifa's fifa's uh, uh, the way the fifa has conducted so much problem was going on fifa never said anything hmm. fifa said one of the members should have st- stood up and written to us so uh, until you don't send a formal uh, uh, for, uh, complaint uh, or uh, letter but the thing is that here you can say that entire whatever the problem for the 15 months the elections were elections were not held and the man responsible who was who was for 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 keeping the elections on hold is a fifa council member we have no no uh, proof at this moment till they told till date we do you have any any proof where the fifa even politely told that council member don't flout rules being the being the member of the highest governing body in the world did they say nobody has said said them mm. but in t- see now you are saying it's a third party interference tell me one thing arjun in 2017 when high court dismissed uh, P- P- praful patel and his committee and the next day The, the that order was uh, stayed he they were he was restored at the as the president by the supreme court uh, by the order of the supreme court he was restored at the president it was not a third party interference when he was removed it becomes a third party infer- interference mm-hmm. point which one is right in that case and and in the end uh, when fifa was written to also it was written to by the same people तो काफी कुछ हो चुका था। जब जब पता चला कि ये होने वाला है कि हमें निकाला जाने वाला है फाइनली और ये कमिटी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स आने वाला है टू टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ डे टू डे ऑपरेशंस एंड सेट अप अ न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तभी सबको याद आया कि ये फीफा बैन हो सकता है अरे जो दो पिटिशन गया था दो पिटिशन तीन पिटिशन एक तो राहुल मेहरा का पिटिशन है next petition is the delhi delhi football club which is owned by ranjit bajaj delhi football club fifa was aware of it and according to fifa law it is it, it, it's a it's a uh, grave offense to go to the court of law mm. you have to come to fifa mm. for whatever mm. i i i well I, that is essentially its definition of third party third party mm-hmm. i know both mm-hmm. kalan and Kal- kalan and uh, ranjit very well i have spoken to them at length on the this subject nobody has ever told me that fifa even gave them a informal call saying that why are you going to the court mm. come to our come dispute, to dis- dispute chamber and we'll do mm. something mm. nobody told them mm. everybody was keeping quiet mm. why they are keep- you will only come when the problem starts and problem gets bigger yeah yeah is it the, is it the role of the world body in that way that's very disappointing isn't it but it is yeah mm. and essentially yeah, both the afc as well afc as well must be considered because the president of the aff was also a senior vice president at the afc so yeah, so it must be something know, he's everywhere yeah. something yeah. so, so i don't so know. it's not taron mein taron mein likha hai not just not just the 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 world body but also the asian body very much uh, aware of what is going on people have written to Uh, journalists such as us have written to the AFC saying, "Have you taken any uh, so moto cognizance of what India may ho kya raha hai?" Or, from there, reply to standardize, like you are saying, "That the cards are all written." So, these all cards are written before. They are templated. In a vague language, one card is given. Of course, it is only the name and date change that is necessary. And if a signature is changed, the signature is changed. So, the signature is changed. So, AFC is also changed. सेम ही काइंड ऑफ लेवल ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट रहा है इवन दो एफ सी इज पुशिंग सो हार्ड वी बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट इट सिंस द टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एशियन कप हाउ द टूर्नामेंट फॉर्मैट हैज बिन एक्सपैंडेड सो दैट टीम सच एज इंडिया विल ऑलवेज क्वालिफाई फॉर द ए एफ सी एशियन कप यू नो दिस होल इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज लास्ट फ्यू शोज वीव डन हैव ऑल बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट आर क्वालिफिकेशन प्रोसेस बट एसेंशली एक्सटेंडिंग द टीम टू द टूर्नामेंट फॉर्मैट टू ट्वेंटी फोर टीम्स is to help countries like india be on that continental stage at all times 
whenever some tournament has to be held, particularly an age group tournament, India is now volunteering, spending public money on hosting these tournaments. So, so in that sense, uh, none of these guys can claim that that w what is happening in India they are unaware of. It's just a question of uh, not getting involved because of what I don't know because members of the club are the ones who are doing it, I guess. Uh, sir, I want to ask a question to move forward because we've spoken about uh, repercussions on the Under-17 Women's World Cup and the team. Repercussions on the senior team, okay, not too much if you're saying it's a three-month ban. Because if it is, if you, you've secured your, uh -huh. your qualification. But in the middle of that, you have to, uh, you know, uh, contract if a negotiation is happening with your head coach in September. And also, this, if they are, I think uh, up, to, up to June, there are only four, two FIFA, FIFA window is available, mm -hmm. uh, whether we can play four matches. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether this, even if it, it is a three-month ban we are talking about, we mm -hmm. don't know how much it will be. Mm -hmm. Even if that FIFA window falls into that ban period, then we are gone. We, can't are not, we, we can't play. But then how, how does Coach uh, negotiation do uh, Yes, so I think in the next two three days, uh, CO is as far as I know. I was I was I was uh, I have been told by a lot of people that uh, the committee of administrators as well as the acting general secretary, Mr. Sunanda Dhar, um, will be sitting with the coach in the next one, next week or in the immediately. Maybe from Monday onwards, they are talking. They are already talking, but formally they will uh, sit and uh, uh, finalize the whatever it is. Final decision, Mohar CEO ka lagega, but decision lagega. will be made by Mr. Dhar and the committee basically. Yeah, yeah. They, see, I, as, see I, when, I, when I spoke to Mr. Kur, Dr. Kureshi, Dr. Kureshi told me that, see, there are so many experts in, in, in this country. Even Bhaskar, our member, is a former India captain. And if I want, I, if, if they want, I can talk to the previous technical committee also. Mm. The, for, for, informally, they can always all tell us that what to do, because yeah. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. If they tell, tell to do this, we will do. But I have a feeling, which I'm, he never told me, but I have a feeling, if the coach is looking for a for a for a uh, uh, what is better, better contract is, is, is a, is longer a contract. no not only longer contract if they are looking for a uh, uh, what do you call it a, a substantial increment or whatever that CO will be in a not in a position to give it because CO will uh, will only uh, extend it and will on uh, the same terms same terms and they will say let the next committee come and no, make it because this new contract if yeah. you do a new contract in September and your Asian Cup happens in Jan Feb, it, right? So ideally, no, Asian Cup nobody knows when it is going. Can't, Jan, you can't Jan Feb, know. Jan it's Feb impossible because have. December you have World December Cup. December is the World Cup. World Cup, so you can't have it. So June, July is not going. June, July. June. It depends. So because my, you have, you have, your, your, your venue is not finalized. Whenever so you extend good. a coach, yeah. at least for us, you do big event to big event. Our big event is Asian Cup. It gets over in June, July. So you're saying if this negotiation happens, you give him a one-year contract, saying that again we'll see you after Asian Cup. Could be, could be up to Asian Cup. He must. But be as a coach, you would say that I want a bigger contract so because my project is this. Kanti Kari, you have done it here by BK. After that, we have done this. I think that I don't know, but COA will be reluctant to do it because COA will say that this is our mandate limited. Yeah, limited. I mean, you have to wait for the next committee. If you have told me that you have to wait for the next committee, then you have to wait for the next committee. So, Asian Cup is not going to be done. You do it. And if he wants a substantial increment, that could be a problem for COA because COA does doesn't want to, as I have spoken to them, they don't want to want to increase the expenditure. If it's going on, it's going on. It's not that someone says that we're going to get the money to get the money. Oh, but then that will be a sticking point also. If the coach says, no, I don't want to for the same amount. Because he's publicly gone and said, I've gone for a lower offer. I had higher offers when I was joining this place because I thought there was a project in hand. So I took it because I thought a lot of people are going to come together for this project to grow. And it's a huge market. And now when the time comes and I've taken you to your second Asian Cup, under whatever circumstances, after how many other qualification rounds you've taken him there, he has every right to say, okay, now why are you not increasing my money? It's time. I've come at a lower uh, price. Can, at least say. that's on the negotiating table. Yeah, sure, sure. We sure, can always sure. say. But, but I think so, if you look at from an AFF point of view, then uh, the coach is given a very decent salary, very decent salary, and coach and the AFF picks up his, picks up his income tax as well. Achha, okay. So, uh, hmm. so uh, what else can they do? The money is money. Maybe uh, money. Maybe uh, 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 money. Maybe not much. In if you look at from the European point of view, though I don't think so. But if somebody says from the European, from the Indian point of view, we say it's a 
very large good. It's a, I think there is also amount. there is also some kind of cap on how much uh, national sports federations are permitted to spend on coaching staff. No, in no, India? because uh, half in of India. it is being half of it uh, so, is being so given by the ministry. The yeah. rest is given by the by the by, by the federation. By the federation. That is fine, but mm. uh, the federation also has a limit. Mm. How can how much they can? Uh, so. Uh, Hmm. He has said that uh, I was getting, I am getting as much as the previous coach was getting. Hmm. Perhaps he is right also. Yeah. But yeah. at these all things, he has to talk to new committee. Hmm. Uh, just because a caretaker government cannot, uh, uh, it's a pass pass a budget. They only give a uh, year on accounts, uh, I, vote I on accounts, hmm. isn't it? It is like uh, Mr. Kureshi will, matlab, the COA will give a vote vote on accounts. But I can yeah. understand him uh, uh, using a loudspeaker and uh, just putting it out there now. Uh, because what he's doing, he's holding press conferences left, right and centre, he's talking to people left, right and centre. I can understand because he's saying, my time has come to uh, negotiate a salary, but now I'm stuck, my hands are tied because a court case has happened and uh, the federation is in all sorts of turmoil. And now I'll sign a contract for another year, because of your turmoil, I will not be able to, uh, you know, renegotiate my terms. Hmm. And uh, you know that seems like a yeah. yeah anyway, so so but I his, guess his uh, we can ask. Problem uh, is his arrow is going nowhere because he has no target. There is no yeah. Thing. Who there is, is no who is who will take the responsibility? Nobody will take the responsibility. Okay, we have, we can Mark give it. Uh, but karo karo ma jaro. So I'm I'm trying to in the nego I'm trying to say in the negotiation just you are talking about. Huh. I think that his little weight is less in the negotiation. I'm trying to say this. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? थोड़ा वेटेज कम है कोई नेगोशिएट करने के लिए है ही नहीं तो नहीं बिकॉज आइडियली यू जस्ट टेकन द टीम टू योर सेकंड एशन कप आपका तो अदा होना चाहिए ऊपर कि जी मैंने तो काम कर दिया अब आप करो मेरे साथ नेगोशिएट नहीं तो मैं गया आई एम द वन हु टुक यू देयर एवरीथिंग इज फाइन बट यू टेलिंग हूम एग्जैक्टली वही मैं कह रहा हूं ना वही मैं कह रहा हूं वही मैं कह रहा हूं टेलिंग हु सो 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 इन फैक्ट वी हैव सम काइंड ऑफ कंफर्मेशन दैट दैट Uh, the coach ta himself. Ta 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 it's a good time, as good a time to announce. But it I as believe any you, are, you people are talking to him also exactly. in the next, next few days. Yeah. Also. So uh -huh. Igor's match will be on 420 grams. On uh, well, so far we know that he, we think that he'll be here on Wednesday this coming week. So we'll of course ask him some of these questions. Who he is talking to at the federation? How those negotiations are proceeding? Because obviously there are a lot of other issues that are going on. So perhaps only. The future of the national team head coach for the men's team isn't uh, like prime in the minds of of the committee of administration. But from his point of view, from his point of view, I, it's you know. it's the the key subject. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and also, if we're looking to build on some of, uh, you, you can see when the national team does well, whether it's the men's team or the women's team, the kind of interest it generates, the kind of conversations it generates. Huge. Uh, so there really is no sort of shortcut to. I mean, on this path to Indian football growing and becoming into something, national team ka performance kafi usme maine rakta hai. So important to hai, hmm. and tournament aa raha hai. Hamne ab statement uh, issue kar diya hai. Preparation ki to starts now. Bigger teams will <laughs> be in for a surprise and all of this. Ye bhi bola hai. Ham ek kar bola hai. Ye kab bola hai? At the press conference uh, after Kata Kata bola. in Calcutta. Bola yeah. Uh, that some of the bigger teams, uh, bigger teams meaning, uh, of course, the Koreas, the Japans, the Australias, uh, the wait. Iran, Iraq, <laughs> these kind Iraq, of countries. Oh, Iraq. First, grouping to get it. Ah, 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 ah. So a lot of questions, of course, about the Asian Our Cup. Our Richard Hood boy was saying that we could be in a very tough pot. Yeah, no um, doubt. Because he it, doesn't have to say it. We know it. <laughs> the, the pots are uh, ranking based, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the sooner you qualify, the chances of you getting a team that is. Uh, from the other ports, lower ranked yeah, teams so much, yeah. are higher. Now we are unfortunately the lowest rank among in the lowest ranked of the qualifying bracket. Mm -hmm. So automatically we'll two to tough teams guaranteed and super tough teams. Yeah. So बारा बारा में से दोनों तो आना ही है दोनों तो आना ही है आना ही है जो बारा क्वालिफाई हो चुके हैं जापान जो भी है yeah no like like uh, like uh, la last time round who did we play where uh, 2011 we had Bahrain, we had uh, Australia South and Korea. South Korea. Yeah. So you know, like, uh, group no, can't in, get any tougher. We won't get a favourable one like 2019. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, probably that, that not. That was a favourable group. Not. Yeah, well, yeah. There, there was a chance for us to even dream of yeah. uh, qualifying from the group. Uh, so yeah, so I think there should be a super interesting conversation with Igor Stimac uh, on on Wednesday next week. So Hi, uh, put that in your calendars. 
uh, we'll tell you the time as soon as we have confirmation because he is of course not in the country at the moment so based on time difference etc etc batate hain aapko sir uh, final thing we are moving on now um sab ladke chat pe yahi keh rahe mere nakshatra mein asking for this Haan. they should pay 8 lakhs for each but without us ki what were some of the findings including the hot topic that is of course being discussed in the public astrology i have a lot of questions on it uh, to whatever extent you can reveal see what there is, is there is a very very when did this come about this development by the way you see uh, it's very unfortunate that that for the last few months for the last few years or maybe for for some there are there are rumors and whispering campaign was going on that that there is a lot of <coughs> and there is a lot of um, uh, corruption in uh, in the all india football federation and their money has been mis whatever misappropriated or whatever you call it in good language nice good language whatever you call it yeah. so so first sign was the coming of cag audit which was when sir it started last month and finished only on 21st it was it finished on uh, this the last uh, i think it has finished already i don't know they are extending the cag audit is a is a huge thing the sports ministry has granted granted permission to <coughs> control and auditor general to conduct a um, uh, uh, audit of all india football federation accounts because government is government pays lot of money to them so it has started one month before hmm. that's a big thing even before the, before the cag coa yeah, came yeah. Uh, just uh, before just before yeah, cag yeah. coa came it happened <clears throat> and i believe after what coming to your point i believe after coming coming to uh, 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 power not power after they were given asked to run the federation then uh, committee of administrator they it's consist of very respectable people bhaskar da is a former india captain dr kureshi is a former <coughs> dr kureshi was the what to say chief election commissioner of india and before that he was also the secretary of sports at one point of time and and justice kureshi justice justice dave who was the supreme court judge hmm. before that he was a bombay high court chief justice also so all all of them uh, found uh, things are not what a lot of things which are not right those they started auditing they started auditing finding finding papers were uh, trying to and it's very easy for them because they have been doing it for their entire life they are they are doing it for a supreme court judge or for a former election committee chief election commissioner it's not not an, uh, something uh, new to them they know how to do it so they quickly come ac- uh, has come across some papers in which it has been found that a uh, that a, that a firm in uh, which some of the newspapers have also reported that mm-hmm. a firm in <coughs> green park has has been given and uh, i think there are two addresses the, it was there which i i got to know that one address is behind that green park said there it is into some some uh, what you call it small area which is missing that area is also missing nothing is to be found hmm. and they were to be paid 8 lakhs per per month and i believe this this is this is completely matlab uh, i say i believe because i was not present there that when the chief executive of the company was uh, of the, of the uh, federation was confronted with it he said that uh, it is a national team uh, department affair and he said to see away that this is a this is something has is a national team department affair and i, I and i only sign paper when i am asked to do so this this project has was propped up by the national team department and whosoever uh, heads the national team department should be asked to asked something like that he said and he also said that e- even the coach igostimak is also ha- has has approached him and said ki this can be done so <clears throat> then first he i think first it was said that this company will not only astrology they will also give stats to the national team stats, stats. on the stats on the on the rival teams all stats which have been given to a team ha huh, the, the previous team that how how many passes they play what they do all this which which is being which from 2016 that that instat company mm. who are in who are in uh, p- 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 contract with aff mm. so you don't know they need another company to do it no but how are you getting stats from uh, astrology that's company? that is the thing that's what is it how can they give an astrology stats to from astrology company whatever i don't know now aap pehle bata do pura fir to ye to then he was uh, uh, parab coa was not uh not 
impressed. Impressed with what? <laughs> <laughs> Just put it politely. <laughs> put it politely was not impressed. And uh, then uh, I think that he, uh, the chief executive said he was not feeling well. He was not well. So he went on leave and uh, very graciously chief ex CEO said, okay, since you are not well, you go on leave. And there are some other things also coming up that 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 uh, that players uh, in, uh, players from developmental side were sent <coughs> were uh, sold to uh, what you say some some uh, f uh, clubs they have been sold to clubs whether ISL clubs or I clubs I, I league clubs I don't know they have mm. been sold to them mm. <coughs> and those players uh, and and of course uh, they, the, you, the the mother club get, gets a commission out of it uh, for that. That was a rule. That was <coughs> That's a rule yeah. that so that commission has gone to a club in Gujarat. And later, Gujarat, the Gujarat club said that we, ne we never heard of it. Uh, and the money was sent to a bank account, which the Gujarat club has no, no, nothing to do with that. That's in a Bombay company, a Mumbai company. And uh, it was found the, uh, the address in a place where the owner of the company, uh, that company has at least 90 shell, shell, shell companies in, in the country and all these things. These are all I'm hearing. See, hmm. I'm not privy to papers uh, or anything, but... Uh, since I am around for a long time, I get to hear a lot of things <laughs> from uh, all kinds of rumors. Hmm. So, everybody... Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, all these things are coming up. So, uh, uh, the thing is that, uh, they, see, the, whether astrologer has gone or, 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 a, or a player has been sold and money has been taken away. So it's a, Basically, the thing is that there are a lot of... Uh, and, and when I interviewed uh, Dr. Kureshi, for uh, b b b he he clearly told me which was in court he told me which i published and since he has not uh, no, not refuted hmm. i think he what he said he said he says everything is fine aff it has got a good administration so yeah is going on matches are going on not a problem but i there are some financial irregularities in it then i asked him sir what what is the in that case what are you plan to do he says i am still collect in the in the process of collecting evidences hmm. So there is a corruption in AF, in the federation. There is uh, th that's a uh, perhaps we can come to a conclusion. Yeah. I'm not sure whether, mm -hmm. but perhaps we can come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm just trying to say. Um, so you've been around for a long time, so you get to hear a lot of things, and that's courtesy of you being around for a long time. So there's a trust factor, and uh, there's always two sides to a story. While one might execute it, the other person might not like it, but so he'll come to you to you know bhadas nikalne ke liye. This is happening in a federation, which is a close-knit unit. I am sure everyone in the federation knows what's going on. Whether you're a person who's just been asked to sign, but you know exactly what you're signing for. And so the chatter starts. So everyone knows what's going on. If that is the case, and if everyone knows what's going on, they should all go. Because are you trying to tell me that tomorrow you change the heads by holding an election, but you have same the same and those heads again turn out to be similar kind of pattern people. These people all do the same thing again, right? You'll again follow suit and the whole thing will start again. So if you really want to reform the federation, which is the job of the COA, and it could be a tough job because if you suddenly reboot everything, it's tougher to start again, especially at a crucial time when you're playing the World Cup and you're playing the Asian Cup and so on. I'm just saying it. Oh, so, so, they, so, they should, so the, the, if you're privy to it, the mandate, you're part of it. Yeah, uh, fair enough. I, I Whether you signed or not signed or whatever, if you're privy to it, you're part of it. It's as simple as that. Yeah, well, I, and as of now, at least the, the sense that we are getting, uh, the, the kind of mismanagement overall, outside of like Jaydeep is saying, outside of keep, chalo kuch matches ho rahe hain. Wo bhi sare matches nahi ho rahe hain, selectively kuch matches ho rahe hain aur kuch... Or kaise ho rahe, kaha ho rahe, kyun ho rahe, wo sab alag, I, I suppose, discussion hai. Us, usme, I think from the sports administration point of view, some, some thought has to be given to people who come in. Like, so for many people of, to come in, space needs to be made, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the, the mandate of this committee, while it's a simple mandate, uh, which is to come up with a new constitution and to hold new elections, it's also a fairly broad mandate. So, it's not a reform mandate, it's a restructuring mandate. जब आप नया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना रहे हैं तो इसका मतलब आप पूरे स्ट्रक्चर को आप बाहर के नजरिए से देख रहे हैं राइट आइडेंटिफाई कर रहे हैं उस स्ट्रक्चर में कहां-कहां वीक पॉइंट्स हैं और उसको दोबारा से आप फिर बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे ना तो इस प्रोसेस में जब कुरैशी साहब कह रहे हैं कि वो एविडेंस कलेक्ट करने के प्रोसेस में है तो जब वो एविडेंस उनके पास आएगा 
clearly वहाँ पे then some sort of tears of responsibility will be there for those who are indulging in this kind of mismanagement, and then they should face the consequences of it as you know. I'm just saying easier said than done. It's easier to take out the heads who are executing this, but do you also then impact the people who are blindly turning an eye? That's all I'm trying to say, because if you are part of that house there. and you know what is going on mm. and you haven't said anything mm. even if you wanted to make a point you could have gone out and you know brought it out no, no but to, those to are very public. complicated things man but right. you see what's happening with whistle blowers around the world right you see the case of uh, julian assange for example more than 10 years in jail why because he's exposed the secrets of mm. or, or what the us government has done in terms of killing civilians so basically you, right. you let the guys so, turn so, a blind eye so when when the laws of the land do not provide any protection to people who are whistle blowers who are willing to go out and nahi to kya hota hai journalist aur aajkal to ye bahut common ho gaya hai right journalist koi kuch bhi likh dega hmm. attributed to sources hmm. ab attributing to sources is fine uh, because and it happens precisely for this reason that अपना नाम नहीं दे सकते लोग बट वेन इट्स वन थिंग वेन यू हैव एविडेंस ऑन पेपर ऑफ रॉन्ग डूइंग बट इट लेट्स ए माई डिपार्टमेंट इज केटरिंग राइट एंड देर इज बिन समॉड इन द नेशनल टीम्स डिपार्टमेंट आई माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट इट इन कॉन्वर्सेशन चाय पीते समय सिगरेट पीते समय बट दैट हैज एब्सोल्युटली नथिंग टू डू माई रोल इन इट वन मेम्बर एटलीस्ट रेज दिस क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ सी ओ एस सो मच इज करप्शन इज गोइंग ऑन दिस एंड दैट एंड देन फाइनली आई थिंक वन ऑफ दिस आई थिंक जस्ट इज दावे ऑन दी टोल्ड दैम दैट दैट्स वाई यू एर हियर एंड you you why don't you make a nice nice committee hmm. which will take care of all these exactly. things it yeah. is in your yeah. hand it is in your hand, hand. absolutely yeah. so when you are when you are re- rewriting the constitution huh. uh, clearly you you should have uh, checks and balances in place measures in place right for that to ensure that there is proper audit i'm sure those things are happening anyways uh, they must have engaged the, the, some which is coming to the, this year he has uh, b- b- the C- coa has ordered a forensic audit Mm-hmm. Uh, and they are supposed to give a give a uh, report in six weeks time mm. i don't think they will be able to give it in six weeks but generally forensic audit is a deep audit mm. which takes l- more time, time i believe but uh, they have agreed to the, so one, a forensic audit has been ordered yeah so so once all these things are done i suppose uh, <coughs> if I'm everything falls in line heads will roll certainly heads exactly, will roll exactly that's what i'm trying to mm-hmm. understand how many will roll that i don't because know because agar ek pura building involved hai by way of directly or indirectly being involved how I, many heads are involved think, see but building involved nahi hai nahi pura building kahan involved hai char aadmi milke kuch kar rahe agar kar rahe the because jab, we, we have no right to say ha, unless it is ha, proved to no, we have absolutely no right to fair, say fair point ha, i get your ha, point sir ha. i get your point but i am saying if i am privy to what's happening and i know what's happening over here um, then i am involved in some way or the other and i am then susceptible to be chosen again and then i can do the same thing again of turning a blind eye is all i'm trying to say uh, yeah yeah but uh, putting everything upside down is not a very easy yeah, task no, that that is, that is, that's why uh, I, that's why i put it uh, there uh, also theek so final uh, final ek pooch yeah, lo ha huh? final ek pooch lo ha po commercial partner sir kyunki ye jo paisa jo istemal wahi aane wala hai paisa jo ye istemal ho raha hai ये तो वहां से आ रहा है कि मास्टर राइट्स एग्रीमेंट एक तो जो जो हम जो काफी लोगों ने दे बोल आदे व्हाट इज द थिंग दे मस्ट बी कि हमारा पैसा गलत तरीके से इस्तेमाल हो रहा है ये और क्या क्या बोल बोल रहे हैं दे दे मेट यस्टरडे द फीफा एंड सीओए बोथ व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट आई आई हैव नो आईडिया बट दे मेट इवन द आई लीग एंड आईएसएल क्लब आल्सो मेट आई लीग क्लब सब मेट हैज हैज मेड टू वेरी गुड डिमांड्स आई लीग क्लब सब मेट वन थिंग दे सेड कि द वी आर बाय द एंड ऑफ एंड ऑफ 20 T two twenty three season the promotion relegation is but is, so in is, the draft constitution as many people pointed out initially when those copies were circulated uh, there is a clause that says the I League which is a league owned by India and oh, here oh, India oh. is equated to the All India Football Federation so it's a publicly owned not a privately owned league uh, will be the number one league in, oh, in the country नहीं कहानी फिर शुरू होगी नहीं कहानी फिर शुरू होगी मतलब अगर draft constitution में है तो कहानी ये sticking point major होगा that is that is not that's not happening because I to, I spoke to Dr Kureishi on the on this subject hmm. Dr Kureishi said I am aware of it hmm. because this he said this constitution we drafted before before the, before the October 2019 Uh, road map was 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 Discussed. was accepted by all stakeholders in Kuala Lumpur mm. we are aware of the way the things are being run and the mm. uh, aware of the road map mm. 
everything will be solved after after okay. after discussion that means it's being removed. it will be removed. but look, i i assume that's what he meant to say i mean, i'm not sure what he said but i assume he wanted to say that only and any and questions on the master rights agreement itself because in 2025 that also comes up for I mean, it's I, 15 years are done. As far as COA is concerned, I don't think they will go. They, but this ILEC clubs told COA as well as FIFA, FIFA members that if, if uh, see, since one of the FIFA members is also the AFC secretary who was present in that meeting, ILEC clubs said that since the promotion will start from 22-23 season, Last four years, the roadmap has, is, says so, but so far not a meeting has been held on it. Mm -hmm. How the things will do? Why don't you hold a, uh, order them to ho hold a meeting mm -hmm. at least? So we'll know what's happening. Mm -hmm. And secondly, why don't you put uh, one league, league committee member, whether from ISL, from I-League, into the executive committee with a voting right? Mm -hmm. So both of them said, KCO and both of them said, it's, it's out of our bounds. We cannot, uh, but you... Okay, you, uh, when the committee comes, you, you uh, uh, talk to them. But this is a very valid point that what about the pro, uh, promotion, promotion of I-League clubs? Uh, why, why no discussion has been, yeah. uh, has been done yeah. yet? Yeah. And I still think, I, I, I say, and I say it uh, always and I say it openly, I still think it is not going to happen. Mm. I'd yeah, be very surprised yeah. if it happens. Definitely not along the timelines that we have been told yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm. I think some pretext or the other, it will be changed. Mm. Yeah. I think more or less uh, जब ban की बात भी शुरू हुई थी जब ये COA आया था तब भी हमने यही बात की थी कि ये सब थोड़ा सा हड़काने के के tactics हैं और these are very commonly used tactics uh, as Jaydeep Basu would have experienced time and again in his coverage not just of football in India but overall in the operations of national sports federations it's happening all over the place uh, but on that note I think it's time to wrap up this uh, this uh, this episode yes. of of 420 grams. I hope some of the issues have been clarified for you. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this update on what's going on at the moment uh, with Indian football. A lot more action expected in the coming weeks. I've also received a message while we were chatting from uh, Mr. Steemach saying that he has confirmed and he's going to be yeah, on the show but but it depends on like, like Jadeep was saying that he's likely to have some meetings with the COA in the next uh, few days most likely on Monday or Tuesday. So he's like, uh, some of what he comes and says, if he comes and says it, depends on whether those meetings will go ahead or not. So either ways, we are in touch. We, we have, uh, for a change, channels of communication are open, conversations are happening. <laughs> you want to say hi, hello, Di hello. Di yeah, Di nice dialogue is on. <laughs> and uh, also a friend of the show, Ishfaq, uh, has written in with questions about on, on that coaching subject. But for today, we'll, we'll, I think, wrap it up here. The focus of this was uh, to figure out where the committee of administrators is and what's happening with FIFA. Uh, so I think we've done that. Uh, thank you very much, all of you, for joining in. I think two, three hundred people on a working day afternoon have taken out the time to come and watch this show. Uh, stay tuned for updates. We'll be back with the Igor Steam Match next, unless something explosive happens, in which case uh, Jaydeep will be back with all of that <laughs> excitement. All right. See you again. Stay safe. Goodbye. Thank you.